Between Dancing, please don't blow up. Um, so we did a lot of review from last week because we started to move into some very complex bell swing things. Um, have a lot of moving parts. Um, so we worked uh, a lot on opening up into our lollies and then getting out of our lollies. Mm -hmm. So opening up into our lollies, we started closing breaks and mm -hmm. do a basic. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Step, step, rotate. Step, step, kick. Tap and a kick and a tap and a kick. And we talked about that um, you need to make two sounds. Tap and then step to stay on time, right? Um, to not cut off a beat, right? So we had you go two sounds, kick, step, two sounds, kick, step, two sounds, kick, step, two sounds, kick, step, just to keep you on time. Mm -hmm. And at some point you might smooth that out, but it's yes, but to, really as you're start, learning, yeah. um, and then uh, getting out of them. We had worked on that a little bit last week, but right at the end of class, mm -hmm. so we worked on that a lot more. So we had you do lollies, and we talked about that any of these kicks can become a step if the leaders simply walk forward and keep their arm connected to their body so that I move with them. Um, and then from that, let's do it from lollies and do the eight count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Rock step together, come around, and then back into a basic. Great. Right. And that is probably the only time we'll hear us say the words rock step in Balboa. Mm -hmm. But Nick Williams said it, so it's okay. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> more for the leads and yes. follows. I realistically, on, under social conditions on a dance floor, I tend to just step, step under my body, mm -hmm. right? But I do feel the stretch from yes. my partner that are waiting yes. um, And then we showed you, oh, we talked about mechanics in mollies. Yes. We talked a little about our hands. Um, and so we had you clasp your own hands together and keep your fingers closed and strong and curved but move your palms away and together and away and together like you were massaging like a soft little mm -hmm. squishy in between your hands um, so that it's less about arms and elbows and more about just this nice little stretchy feeling in the hands. Um, and so every time that we tap, there's a little compression as our palms come together and every time that we kick, there's a little stretch as our palms move away from each other and that's just an always thing. Um, and we also had uh, worked with uh, leads rotating yeah. the follows. Orbit, well. Orbiting around the follows, yeah. yeah. So I am like the center point around which Ryan is kind of transcribing a circle. Mm -hmm. He's moving mostly on his kick step. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I feel like I think you've talked about this during class that I'm not exactly making a circle, circle around. I'm kind of taking a boop, do boop. Bunch of little lines Lots around. of small straight lines, which I couldn't remember the proper name for, but I think it's a pin. Mm -hmm. Sure, one of you will. Someone will know. Um, and then the very last thing we did was we gave you another thing to do from your cross exit. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. from your lollies, when you get your partner to step across, you can also just move into this step, step, cross rhythm. So boop, bump, bump, boop, bump, bump, boop. And something that we talked about with this was to keep your quick, quick, small, 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 slightly bigger. Small, small, slightly bigger versus big, big, tiny, big, big, tiny, right? That was kind of backwards from what we wanted. Um, we want to think small, small, across, small, small, cross, small, small, cross. And then something else that we talked about, I'll do it from the side, is that you don't want to think about um, everything happening on a line. Like it's a linear move and most of it happens on a line. But if you keep everything on the same line, it's really hard to get that foot across because there's no room. But if my second quick gets out of the way, quick, shoo, see how I got it out of the way? Or my slow. Quick, out of the way, slow. Quick, slide it back, slow. Mm -hmm. Quick, slide it back, slow. And that just gives me space, right? Mm -hmm. We're in open, we have lots of space. We can both cross in front, but I can just make it easier for my own body by clearing a path for my crossing foot versus getting like all tight and locked up. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think the yeah, well, I think the last thing too is that pulling back and also allowing your hip to rotate rotate a little bit. Like we're not trying to yes all the way go through, but <laughs> allow your hips to rotate. Just yeah, help you to get around the corner. Yeah. Let your body move in the way that it, it would naturally move mm -hmm. if you were changing direction. Yeah, because you're changing direction. Everything covered. We got you for one more week. Uh, we'll work on the step cross rhythm 
And we'll work on one new rhythm, um, or the same rhythm, but a new shape of the rhythm that you know and love. Just quick, quick, slow. Um, and we'll tie it all together with a nice little bow. Boo!